Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Well, today we're looking at a new cigar. To me, this is actually from the same man who brings you the Brian uh, cigars at Atabay. Uh, it's from Nelson Alfonso. And uh, this is technically the long name is the Bander Bandolero Serie A Adventuros Sadducees. That's the size. Sadducees. And that is a 5 and 3 eighths by 46 by Tola. Uh, very dark bands. But if you look closely, you can make out. And I'm sure on the lead in pictures, you can see it a little better. But it's a very dark wrapper, and I wish I could tell you a lot about it, but it is uh, an Ecuadorian wrapper, and the binder and filler is undisclosed. I did see on one uh, website that part of the filler was Peruvian, but uh, I honestly don't know. Now, uh, interesting that uh, the bandoleros are named after bandits that risk everything to continue producing cigars, even though it was prohibited outside of Spain by the crown, and even though the tobacco itself was grown in their homelands. So that's where the Bandolero name comes from. I bought these on uh, Small Batch Cigar, and I think currently they are sold out, but uh, I'm sure you can find them. Um, there is the density. has a average feel in the hand. It's not a very big cigar, so we won't worry about that, but that's sort of the long and the short of it. So let's get right to it. The new Bandoleros Serie A Adventuros Sadducees. It's almost like a very well-made cigar. Looks sharp. All right. We've got an excellent draw here. Nice to come across an excellent draw. One thing you're going to notice that light up is quite a bit of earthiness in this cigar, but you have low levels of low levels of citrus, low levels of caramel, some nutmeg, and quite a bit of a very earthiness and a black coffee base is what I'll call it. It's uh, it, there's there's quite a bit of black pepper close to eight, so they sort of merge uh, blur the line there. You got so much black pepper that the uh, earthiness and the black pepper combined almost to make the base, but I can get a little black coffee at the base. So that is how you start. And uh, this will be a nice, this may be a new cigar for most of you. So uh, let's see how it turns out. the first third and there is still that little hint of citrus it's just a little you got more of a toffee flavor now there's a little intertwined intertwined nutmeg there's even some dry oak hints and there's quite a bit of black pepper still and quite a bit of earthiness and you know that black coffee is very minor because as I smoked it to this point the black pepper and the earthiness combined to make just about the base medium bodied heavily leaning toward medium to full finishes a little toffee and nutmeg with quite a bit of lingering black pepper black pepper is very good in this cigar the earthiness in this cigar doesn't hurt it 
you've got surrounding sweetness and a lot of black pepper. So it sort of works. As a matter of fact, I really enjoy this cigar. I rate the first third 94. I like it. So uh, can it hold that? I uh, will see. But right now it's pretty good. And one thing, this came in other sizes. This is probably the smallest size. And I chose it for its size because I know smaller rings a lot of times yield more flavor. So uh, there are other larger sizes out there, but this is the one I chose. So it's pretty good first third. Into the second third, and the toffee notes are really coming out. There is still that little twinge of citrus, but it's mainly toffee. There is a little thread of leather. There's a little nutmeg and quite a bit of peppery earthiness. The black coffee is almost an afterthought at this point because there's so much earthiness in black coffee. The black, I mean, uh, so much earthiness in black pepper. You know what I mean? The black pepper is very good in this cigar, and it's lingering so nicely. Finish is unchanged. It's still uh, toffee and nutmeg, but a lot of lingering black pepper. I don't see anything that the cigar has done to hurt itself, or really to help itself. The, the uh, toffee notes did go actually a little better, but I don't think it's enough to move the needle, so I'm going to stick with 94. Very good cigar. Very good cigar. So uh, let's see what we have in the final third. Down to the end. So let's wrap it up. You know, I don't think anything's changed from the last segment. You still have so much of that nice toffee. The citrus notes are very faint. The leather is very faint. And I'm not even sure I would include it at this point, but it's very faint. It's, the, it, it, it's not much there. The nutmeg is not much there. The black pepper and the earthiness is definitely there. And I would not say the black coffee's there. So what you're left with primarily is toffee, black coffee, and earthiness. I did get some little hints of dry cedar, which didn't hurt it at all. Medium to full, we'll say medium to full. Finish is absolutely unchanged. This is a good little cigar. I like this size. Get an hour, an hour out of it, and that's good. I'll hold 94 for the final third. It's just that good. So your overall score is 94. Very good cigar. And hard to remember the name, but it's uh, basically Bandolero Sadducees, but the official long name is Bandolero Serie A Adventuro Sadducees, so... We'll go with that, but uh, bottom line is the cigar is good. That's all you need to know. So look them up. Look them up. Seek them out. So there you have it. The Bandolero Serie A Adventuro Sadducees. 94.